Today's vehicle is a 2005 Ford Escape. This is the first generation of Ford Escape. And when Ford brought this vehicle out, it was the beginning of the SUV craze and became a hot seller for Ford. This one here has the nice two-tone paint. So basically the upper part is like a light green. The bottom's a painted gray instead of having the plastic cladding. And the wheels, they're not the nicest rims, but overall this one is in really good shape still. Less than 70,000 original miles. And when you look at the vehicle, with all the doors closed, it is in still pretty good shape, especially for an older vehicle being here in Michigan. Now it has been in a few little fender benders, as you can tell, that light up there is new and that light is old and all messed up. And you can see, see uh, some scuffs. So it's not perfect, but it is still very clean. There is a little bit of rust, I'll show you in a little bit, but overall, my dad I wanted another vehicle. This was actually my aunt's car. Uh, they've had it for a long, long time. This kind of became their third car actually it wasn't their first car it wasn't their second car but it was an extra car for the kids and stuff like that interior door panel yes hard touch materials but i do like how they at least painted some of the plastics to add a little bit of a contrast colors and stuff like that switch gear all still works leather seats now these seats they look nice i like how it's a two-tone you have the the nice darker gray the light gray but these seats are some of the hardest firmest seats i've ever sat in and they're small. I'm about 5'10 and a half, and uh, my butt does not fit in here. My waist does not fit in here, and I'm not that big of a guy. But when I do step in, oh, close the door. I have a nice grab handle to get in and out, but this is a nice lower vehicle. You can see nice leather wrapped steering wheel. I do like the design of the steering wheel, and this uh, perforated leather does feel really nice. Hard touch controls, a nice simple gauge cluster in this vehicle, and the center stack painted plastic the old uh, ford six disc cd changer and nice hard uh, controls for all your climates i like the knobs and stuff like that big buttons and stuff this is hard touch plastics like i said but look this vehicle being from 2005 almost looks new on the inside i'll be honest uh, the inside held up very very nicely even though it's a hard touch plastics this one here being a higher trim does have the center stack or basically a center console giving you the parking brake here automatic transmission controls here uh, a lot of the escapes had uh column shifters but i do like the overall look of the dash you guys can let me know what you think i just wish that the seat was more comfortable because it is hard but you do have a nice position pillars nice and narrow so you do have great visibility as I turn around, you can see there's plenty of room for the passengers behind us. Obviously, they have to be smaller. No third row. We have a smaller vehicle. We have plenty of cargo space. Overall, it's a nice place to be. And with the hood open, you guys can see the three liter Duratec V6. Now, when this first generation came out, there was a four cylinder or the upgraded engine. Now, most of these do have the V6 engine. This is a solid engine. It's relatively peppy. Uh, the horsepower numbers aren't the best. Uh, fuel economy is okay, but these are pretty reliable engines. They're relatively simple for a modern engine and overall pretty good. There is a problem with this one though. As you can see right here, all of this is no longer connected here. So when you actually turn the car on, all this will shift and sometimes separate right here. A little bit of a problem, but we can fix it in the future. Obviously, this is an older car. Like I said, needs a little work. We can replace that or just clamp that headlight so it matches this one. But overall, a good car that's in relatively good shape. Today, I'm sitting in a first generation Ford Escape. Now, when this first generation Ford Escape came out, it was a hot seller for Ford. It's boxy, rugged styling really took off and propelled the Escape to be one of Ford's best selling vehicles. Nowadays, the Escape hasn't had the popularity it once had uh, because they've expanded upon its family line. And what I mean by that is now you have the Ford Escape, but if you want something that's more rugged, you have the Bronco Sport which is basically off the same platform, but a little bit more beefed up, more rugged, kind of like this first generation. And you also have the Ford Maverick, which is a, a pickup truck. So the Escape is uh, kind of the black sheep of the family now. It doesn't have the sales that, uh, sales it used to have, but overall, the first gens is the way to go because the V6 is relatively reliable, the overall rugged looks, and this one here, being as old as it is, almost looks brand new on the interior. Let's go for a little drive. All right, driving the first generation Ford Escape. This one has leather seats being a higher trim. I will say the leather seats are very hard, very uh, firm. Uh, the ball string's okay, but uh, I'm just an average size person and I'm kind of like flowing out of the seat. I'm only 5'10 and a half, just a little overweight, but uh, I'm already sliding out of these seats. But overall, 
Uh, being an older vehicle, the pillars are very small. The visibility is awesome. Being more of a boxy shape, you can actually maximize this interior volume. So loading stuff in the back, easy peasy. Try and see out the car, pretty good. Mirrors, a little bit on the small side, but this is a small vehicle, so it doesn't really matter overall. The dash, everything is harder plastics, but it's an older vehicle. Uh, I do like the knobs and the switch dials. Everything's easy to see. Everything's nicely labeled. Leather wrapped steering wheel, which feels good in the hands. Uh, I have a very upright seating position. So even though I am in a smaller vehicle, getting in and out of the vehicle is awesome. I do have a bit of a commanding view, which I do like. And overall, this is a pleasant experience. Now this one's only front wheel drive. These vehicles came with a four cylinder or a V6. This is the V6. Uh, now the V6, it is slow, it is sluggish, but it is relatively reliable, and that's why a lot of people do like these first gens. Uh, Off-road capability, if this was a four x four, I could do light off-roading. They never had like a dedicated, like hardcore off-road trim, but this was just a nice passenger vehicle, a great family car, and a lot of people absolutely love these vehicles. All right, so that's my dad's new to him 2005 Ford Escape, the first generation Ford Escape. And overall, even though it's a little rough here and there, for just being a car that's just a few couple, couple thousand dollars, it's in pretty good shape. It's a nice vehicle. I wish the seats were a little bit better. It needs a little bit of work, but overall, I think this is a car that he can fix up a little bit on the cheap drive for a while and get his money back or even make a little bit of money. But I wanna know from you guys down below, do you like the Ford Escape? What generation is your favorite? Which ones did you own? Did you love them? Did you hate them? Did you have problems? I wanna know all your thoughts, all your opinions, everything down below.